What's up everybody? It's Simon from Leica. And I've got a story about a battery. A camper battery. A dead camper battery. And then another dead camper battery after that. You know what happened? I found out I have a bad power converter. Yep, found out the hard way. The money way. <laughs> By wasting a perfectly good battery. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I tried putting it on the trickle charger and it's dead dead and it's less than a year old. So I'm hoping to help you save a little bit of money. If you find that you have the same symptoms that I did, maybe you can find the answer quicker than I did and save some cash without burning through some batteries. So here's what happened. Once upon a time, we were out camping and the battery's dead. We just show up in the battery state. I'm thinking, okay, I should have had it on the trickle charger in the garage. I didn't. We went too long between camp trips. You know, it was like winter time coming out of winter. Get back on the road. I didn't check it before I left. We get out there. It's dead. All right, that's fine. We've got hookups, but it's not charging. Okay, that's weird. And then the next trip, we're, uh, we're boondocking. And I didn't, I didn't, try to fix it. I didn't try to pay attention to it. I just said, oh, that's weird, but we don't need it until we did need it, right? Until we're boondocking, we're out dry camping. No power. Now we need the battery, right? Have you been down this road with me? You've been down this road before? I've done this before too. I didn't learn from my mistake. So I didn't, I didn't address the problem right away. And then we needed it. And then I was in real trouble. Okay. So what do I need? I need a new battery. Okay. So we go get a new battery. It lasts until it doesn't last anymore. Not recharging. What's the deal? What is going on? And I did not know enough about, you know, the, the whole electrical setup, this whole rat's nest down here of what's going on inside a camper and why all this this stuff is the way it is. Of course, what the power converter is doing is it's converting from, you know, 120 volt to 12 volt to charge the battery and then 12 volt from the battery to 120 volt to power everything in the camper. Like, you know, the power outlets and everything like that. So there's, there's like a charging component and then there's an inverter component. And I'm still like way out of my league here, but I'm just trying to walk you through like kind of what's going on here a little bit. So still didn't know what the problem was. Dead batteries. Uh, had replaced, hope I can get you in on here right here. This little guy, propane alarm. We have a propane heater. So the propane alarm was going off, high pitched squeal, worse than a fire alarm, smoke alarm. Uh, that's cheap and easy. That's like a couple wires, a couple screws, $15 part, $20 part, um, straight replacement. I mean, those things are universal, no big deal. So the alarm goes off. Next time we go camping, another squeal plug in what the heck is going on with the battery charge the battery off off the camper okay the battery's charged again set up camp flip on the breakers squeal i just put that propane alarm in is it bad did i buy a bad one did i put it in wrong what's going on no it was a slightly different high-pitched squeal turns out that my power converter went out like two weeks after my propane alarm went out <laughs> just by coincidence and they have almost the exact same sound so if you have a high pitch squeal and it's coming straight out of the power converter right here then it's bad it needs to be replaced so now we're a couple hundred dollars into this journey because a new unit just the unit is 170 dollars and RV Techs, uh, if you're not familiar with uh, the whole RV Tech situation, are they're all backed up like a month, a month and a half. Um, don't dare take it to the dealership. I mean, you might as well just drop it off and 
go tent camp for a couple months and pick it up again. So I started looking to, into DIY situations, you know, because I'm a do-it-yourselfer, but this, this seems like a big job. Reached out to uh, some folks on an RV Facebook group and got some really encouraging results. I actually got a couple of YouTube uh, videos made by people in that group. Hey, I've done that job. It's not that complicated. Here's my video, super useful. I'll put those down below. Um, shout out to those folks too. And it's basically, I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet, but it's basically unwire. Make sure, make sure you're cold. Unplug everything, unplug battery. Even if it's got like a little trickle in it, it doesn't matter. You know, unplug your snake and all that kind of stuff. Make sure you're totally cold and start, start taking it apart. Unplugging and label everything really well. Take pictures of what's going on, what the setup is right now, and just document it. Just document the heck out of it. The un new unit I got is totally, totally different, but um, it was recommended by the website that I bought it from as a replacement for this unit right here, which is no longer in production. That's fun too, isn't that? Isn't that fun? Because I, I couldn't just buy like another unit and just, that would be easy, right? That would be, that'd be easy. That'd be an easy DIY situation, but we can't do that. We can't do easy. We're fixing our campers. It can't be easy, right? So totally new unit and it's like fancier too. It's, you can't just buy like this old school straight up, you know, it's got, uh, it's got, you know, all the, all the guts, all the good stuff, right? And then a couple fuses and then a couple breakers and that's it right uh, so the new one has like this smart battery charging thing it's gonna be a lot healthier for a battery this battery uh, if I can save this one it's probably gonna last a long time if I have to buy a new one it's gonna last forever <laughs> you know <laughs> because of the, because the power converter is gonna be awesome once we get it in there so all that to say I haven't done the job yet but I am sure enough that I finally found the problem to my battery, dead battery situation in my camper that I need to replace this and I'm putting my money where my mouth is. It was $170 for the unit. So that's how much I believe that I found the problem. And now it's time to get to work. Here's the fun thing about, uh, here's the fun thing about working on, on pop-up campers, right? Is you don't discover a problem until you're camping and then you got to go fix it. You can either fix it here while you're supposed to be having fun. Like right now, I should be fishing and I'm not, although it is a little windy. Or fix it when you get home, if you're doing it yourself. And when you have a pop-up camper, you fix it by yourself at home, you got to pop it up to fix it and then you got to tear it all down that's like for, I don't know about you but for me that's about an hour and a half right there I mean I haven't for fully setting up camp you know fully setting up the camper and then tearing it down that is an hour and 45 minutes if I'm doing everything just just so but if I'm if I'm just throwing it up you know on my driveway to work on it that's still that's an hour and a half just to set it up and tear it down just for the privilege of being able to work on it so yeah that's used camper life that's that's some real life right there um you buy yourself a new one this stuff lasts i mean this is 13 years 13 years old this camper is and um you know the accessories are starting to go um the fridge yeah yeah we don't even use it you know i don't even trust it with my beer so um it's uh that's that's just used camper life we got a screaming good deal on this thing. It's been great. We've got a ton of use out of it. And every now and then you got to roll up your sleeves. So if you got some good stories about working on your electrical, I want to hear about it because man, some people do some crazy stuff and I love it. And other people have no idea what they're about to get into and they get a little crazy too. That's a little more like me. And I want to hear those too. I'm Simon Blake up. We'll catch you next time.